Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. My name is Liz, I'm a part-time reseller in Maryland. And in today's video, I have two amazing estate sales to share with you, amazing finds. I can't wait to see what I got at the end. So please do stay tuned. Um, I will say that the clip of the first estate sale, this international traveler estate sale, which was so amazing, is kind of short. Uh, I was trying to protect the privacy of some of the people who were there because there was a really, um, intimate conversation going on. Um, and I think I accidentally clicked the GoPro button too many times. And um, I think I accidentally stopped the camera when I thought I was starting it. So that's okay. I will show you everything um, and there's a lot to learn. So I think you guys will be excited to have some food for thought for your own shopping experiences. And the second sale, it was a return to a sale from two weeks ago. They opened up a new portion of the house and I wanted to see what else that sleeper sale uncovered. So stay tuned to the end so you can see what I found and what it's worth. Thanks again for tuning in. Please do click the like and subscribe buttons for me if you would. I'll see you in the footage. Now see, this mirror reminds me of you, Mark. Large scale, unique <laughs> items. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't want me to sell him that. Well, you know, else. Yeah. I think I'm ready to pay up when Look you guys are ready. You. Look at you! Keep going, Pastor Mark. I'm going. I am, you need some cheerleaders. Thank you for Oh, what? So the, the rug and the tapestry? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, and then I added, I think there's like an ostrich egg and a little dish. I think okay. it's like a little stone dish. Oh, two rugs. Oh, two rugs. Oh, okay. Good. 60? Sounds good to me. Not even gonna go into a good home. That's all I want for you know, everything to go to the home. My sister took a lot of TLC buying all the yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, me too. There is some up in my um, cabinet. No, I get rashy. Oh. So. <laughs> I'm like allergic to it. All the jackets? Yes. And Chris. It, well, I have them for Chris. Oh, good. Um, Do you want a bag? Yeah, yeah we've got plenty of bags. Yeah, let me take, I'm going to take these to the car just because they're so um, heavy. Okay. What's up? And then, Here, I'll put those in yeah, this stuff I guess I'll have to be real careful with. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll be right back. Hi, how come no one's here? What I mean is, I thought there was going to, there were going to be hordes of people. No. Last week about this time, it started slowing up because besides you're here. I No, I'm glad they're not here. I think it's great. I came two weeks ago. I know, you look familiar. Yeah, I was here. I had a great time. Yeah. And I was like, I, I kind of forgot you guys were having it again. And then when I saw the ad, I was like, oh, yes. I can't wait because I didn't really have anywhere that in, in, great to go. That you really need or uh, cannot do without. <laughs> I know it when I see it, to be honest. <laughs> so, on that table, yeah, it's one dollar. Okay. If you, if you bundle seven for five, wow, eight, uh, eight for five. Okay. Okay. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Take you for a ride. Yeah. No, I just had such a great time, like just shopping. Like, yeah. usually I worry about the price at the end, <laughs> which is sometimes well, dangerous. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not to, not to not worry. Okay, but yeah, everything's negotiable. Oh, that, no, I'm not worried at all. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. This is the this one. This lady was here last. I remember. Yep. Two weeks ago, yeah. yeah. Two weeks ago. It wasn't last week, was it? Did I miss and last week? No, two weeks. Oh, okay. We would have called you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Do you know what the other way is? The other what? It's like three legs there. I have no idea. I think this is the work of Sam. I hope it's somewhere down there. It's got to be somewhere. I'll look for it. Okay. Um, cool. What was I gonna, uh, Is it different areas in the house this time? It's still downstairs, but it's we brought up stuff from the basement. That's so what I think you different. guys said last right. time. Gotcha. Okay. Great. And I told them to leave. Should be in the property. Right. Okay. Yeah.
Why don't you take it here? This would be easier. Take your little stuff oh, in here. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll feel like I'm on a, uh, like an Easter egg hunt. Kind of. <laughs> it does make it easier. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Good. Did you see you? yourselves on YouTube? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I actually don't know if your faces actually showed. I didn't think they were, but yeah, it was it's, cool nonetheless. Yeah, because it's aimed. It's because I want to show the stuff, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna get bogged down in the salt and pepper shakers again. Yeah. Okay, guys. So here is the haul from these dreamy estate sales. I have to go pretty quickly because there's a pizza in the oven and my dog is in a barking mood. So I have a couple of these large textile pieces. I think these are for hanging on the wall. This one reminds me of, well, certainly another country, but for some reason it reminds me of Mexico, but I'm not sure why. I don't know what you call this kind of weaving. I mean, some people call it a tapestry, I know, but if you happen to know what type of actual weaving this is, or if you recognize the style as a certain country, would you please leave me a comment because I wasn't having great luck with Google Lens. Long story short, these are about two and a half feet by four feet. I got two of them for $15 each. Hang on, I'm just gonna try to show you the other one. And I think they're probably worth at least $100, but because I don't have the right keywords, I need your help. I'm not 100% sure. So these are really beautiful. Look at the animals in this one. There's a horse and there are some um, I guess goats here too. So large textile, like wall art, beautiful. Um, I've got this Roseville vase here. Surprisingly for such a petite Roseville vase, I believe this is called a snowberry and it's kind of a pinkish peach. This one was like 100 to 150 on eBay and I think I paid less than $5 for that. This woman was an international traveler type and always brought things home. So. I was told that this is a hand-painted ostrich egg and it does have that porous texture, kind of like golf ball texture. There's the pizza timer. Um, and this is from Africa. I couldn't find this exact one. I'm sure these were all, you know, uh, one of a kind pieces or close to it, but this is a sun god and probably at least $100. Again, I'm gonna ask you guys, please leave me comments. Your expertise is so valuable to me because some of these things are really out of my wheelhouse. So I need your help. Um, I found a couple of beaded bracelets. Some, um, some sites call these um, African trade beads, but I'm not 100% sure on that. 
I don't do a lot of beaded um, jewelry, even though I do a lot of jewelry. I do mostly precious metals, so I don't have the expertise there. But I would imagine that those could be worth $20 a piece or more. Not sure. Another item I'm not so sure about. When I bought this, I was like, oh, a sterling silver and chrysoprase bookmark. But then I looked at it and I was like, how would you mark your book? Does it go like, does that go on the spine? Or am I being ridiculous and you guys know what this is? If I see sterling silver and if I see stone, I'm going to buy it. Especially when it's probably like a couple of dollars at most. So I bought that little trinket. Don't know what that one's worth. This one I do know what's worth. I even have my notes here because there were a lot of names I didn't know before today. So the back of this Noah's Ark plaque, this is made out of metal and it's enameled. It says on a sticker, Wilhelm Schweizer. So when you see like stamps and stickers, always check them. This just had that, that look. I actually thought it was more vintage and here's what um, this person paid for it. Now I don't know where that would have been from. That kind of reminds me of France. But anyway, um, this artist pieces, you can still buy them. And I think this one retails right now for $275. And I probably paid maybe $5 for this. I'm not 100% sure because when you go to an estate sale, you know, you pay for a huge bundle of stuff. Um, and at this estate sale, I believe I paid $60. And um, so, yeah, this piece right here is really, really cool. Very valuable piece, potentially. This is I believe you pronounce it Pietra Dura, which means like maybe like strong stone, but I'm not sure the camera will pick it up, but this is all inlaid stone and it's not in that sort of like micro mosaic style that you'll see a lot of those um, kind of easy to find pins from Italy. This is, I thought it was a painting and I thought it was really, really well done. I was kind of in a rush. You know, I had some competition there, which you might see in the clip. And I was trying to kind of scurry around. It was me and another great person who's a great picker picking at the same time. And so that, the one I found most like this, and I think this might be um, in Florence, this image was about $500 because imagine the work it takes to find, to cut, and to piece together the stone like that. I found a few ceramic boxes. They appear to be um, hand painted. I didn't find out much about these. Google Lens wasn't very helpful. I just noticed that this has, sorry, that this has a signature date. So maybe I can use that. But once again, oh, you know what? <laughs> when I looked at them the first day I bought them, well, now I will be able to identify them. See, I answered my own question. That's why I talked to myself. So these are really neat. Now I want to read them all. Armenian manuscripts. So these are almost vintage. I can almost sell them on Etsy next year. This one didn't miss anything as far as the signature, I don't think. But anyway, I love those. Very inexpensive. I thought they'd probably be 20 or 25 on Etsy. I'll look them up and find out more about it. Maybe I will leave a comment and let you guys know if you don't already know. I took a while to investigate this stone, this carved stone trinket dish. And I'm relatively confident that it's pink Petoskey stone. Um, so it's like fossilized coral, I believe. So it has these like swirls that almost remind you of like agate, um, but I believe that it is um, fossilized stone. Um, and that can be extremely valuable too, just pieces made in pink. The When I was Googling it, that came right to like, I donated this pink Petoskey stone to a museum because it's rare. So do I know the price of this dish? No, but I'm encouraged, especially since I paid such a low price for all these treasures. This is a little marquetry or inlaid wood piece. It has a hairline crack in it, but this will sell in my booth easily for 10 or $15. And then I think the last thing, oh no, there are three more things, three more groups. I also got um, these brass keys, which are probably technically vintage, but not super vintage. And I saw a set that was similar, but not identical on Etsy for $45. I think I paid five to $8 for the set. And then there were these little watercolors they are both signed uh, MAGA, M-A-G-A, but try Googling that and you will end up all kinds of places that don't help you identify your art. Um, and you can look at art with a loop to look for what I call pixels, but um, like a dot pattern. And that way you'll know if you have a print or not, unless it's a super high quality print um, or like a serograph where you'll see some spillage of like the paint. But I'm quite confident these, that these are like um, pen and watercolor and original images. 
So I don't know how much these are worth because I couldn't find this artist, but usually original art is gonna be $25 or something a piece. Um, Wedgwood Jasperware doesn't really do that well, but it's hard to pass it up when it's in good shape. These might be $10 each at the most. This was just a pretty drip glaze hull planter in a basket style. So those are booth pieces, as is this paw mug from Inesco, uh, kind of like a shaving mug style, maybe $10 in the booth, maybe a little bit more. And then I also have a couple of Wallace Nuttings. He did these hand colored photographs and his work really goes in and out of favor. So I do pick it up when it's inexpensive, which it was, I think I paid 20 for these items, the Jasperware, the Wallace Nuttings, the planter and the mug. Um, so I'll make some profit, um, but I need to do a little more research. I haven't had actually a seascape or a seaside scene by him before, but it is kind of petite, as I'm sure you can see. Pardon the manicure. Um, I forgot to take my supplements and my nails all broke. I refuse to blame it on the gel manicure because I have to get it. <laughs> I love it too much. And last but not least, there is a beautiful embroidered tablecloth. You could also use it as a coverlet. It almost is like velvet. Um, that I also bought at the International Traveler Sale. And I didn't look that up because it blended into the background when I was making sure I wrote down everything I had learned for you guys so I could, you know, market these pieces well. And it looks like, you know, I spent $80 total for everything I'm showing you today. And I'm gonna say it's well over $1,000. And when I added it up, it was more like $1,500. But that's assuming everything sells and it sells, you know, quickly for top price. So that pretty much wraps up the haul. These dreamy sales, kind of sleeper finds. I don't know if the shoppers were sleepy this week also because there was no one at these date sales I went to. Very, very strange. Um, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel and staying until the end. If you are enjoying the content you're seeing, please click the like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to grow. And remember to never stop searching.